Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar Then we'll go through the GFS, the GM, the ETMWF, the GFS ensembles and the UK Met Office run We have quite a bit of milder weather coming up over the next 5 to 7 days But as we head into New Year, uncertainty builds once again And there's the potential, the blocking pattern is still there, that we could be seeing cold weather through January and we'll have a look at what the models are showing for the new year. So do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow on Twitter as well the links in the description. First of all I want to say hope everyone has had a great Christmas and is having a great boxing day as well and enjoys the next five to seven days of festivities. Um, it's been a tough year of course and unfortunately the weather is not producing any major wintriness that I think a lot of people would like around the Christmas period but we did in fact see a white Christmas yesterday um, in yesterday's, yesterday's video we did have a look at we at uh, the official Met Office Twitter page who said we'd seen a white Christmas in Brymar and a few areas over the course of Northern England we saw quite a few more areas seeing a white Christmas last night quite late on in and around the midnight period we did see heavy snow across many parts of Northern England and Southern Scotland and you can see that weather front on the live radar slowly clearing away a lot of low cloud fog and drizzle around it's really quite a miserable boxing day um, but it's just unfortunately this is how it is this year but many areas over the high ground in northern England and Scotland did see quite a lot of heavy snow last night. Um, and at the moment, of course, milder air is moving in, so most of it is turning back to rain. But if we do go have a look at the layers on the radar, we can actually have a look at the past 24-hour uh, snowfall amounts. Now, again, these are estimates, um, not what is sort of seen on the ground. It estimates what's fallen out of the sky from the radar. And you can see we saw quite a lot of heavy snow across parts of Northern England, including Yorkshire, uh, up and into Southern Scotland and Central Scotland. Well, the purple areas where we saw quite a bit of heavy snow. So just um, across the northwest parts of Yorkshire saw some quite very heavy snow. And even to low-lying areas, we'd see some snow for a time. But now it is a bit too mild for snow as we do head into quite a mild period to end the year. Now, if we do have a look at the GFS, what that is showing this evening, it is showing quite a mixed bag. We're seeing a milder period over the next five to seven days into the end of this year and start of next year. But we are seeing those blocking patterns that I keep saying are still there, returning once again and potentially giving us something cold in the extended range. Now, I do want to emphasize any cold potential we have a look at on the models and on some members it's all in the longer range no guarantees at this stage i don't want to get anyone's hopes up because i do know there are some pe some people especially on twitter saying winter is over it's going to be a mild and average winter and yes maybe the overall average temperature may be around or above average that's quite likely now given this milder december but i do still think we will, we will be seeing some cold weather the atmosphere is primed for cold potential. Not primed for guaranteed cold weather for the UK, but it's primed for blocking. And if that continues like it looks like it will over the next few weeks, at some point it's going to come off, at least for a few days for the UK. So if we do run through the GFS, you can see at the moment we do have westerly winds moving in. That cold air that we'd hoped about a week ago would have come further southwards is sitting over Scandinavia. And we continue with westerly winds, very unsettled, quite a few bands of precipitation moving through over the next few days. You can see we continue with the southwesterly feed, really quite mild towards the end of this year. And if we do have a look at the upper air temperatures, you can see that 10 degree line slowly getting towards the UK. It's looking like it's not going to quite get to the UK at this stage, but it is the potential there. One thing we also need to keep an eye on is the wind as well, because these low pressure systems that could move through potentially towards the end of this coming week. Do you see there, Friday the 31st, quite a vigorous little low pressure system. Could be seeing some quite heavy rain with that, strong winds, and maybe some snow in its leading edges. We still have, as I said, some of that blocking towards Greenland. Now beyond that, we go into a full sort of southerly wind pattern for the last couple of days of the year into the start of um, January. 
And you can see, as we continue through, it's still generally westerly. And then we see that blocking once again towards Greenland. And we see some really quite cold air exiting out of the North Pole and Scandinavia. I just want to show what this is doing right towards the end of the run. Now I said it's all in the extended range, all just potential at this stage. But the blocking eventually wins out and we go into a much colder, fresher air mass for all. Now, eventually, westerly winds do break through again, but we're still seeing this signal for colder air to try to sink its way towards Europe with a lot of blocking around. It's just, again, that interaction between the jet stream and the block is going to make all the difference. No guarantees with this, just the potential. And I just don't want people to lose all hope, even though it is looking pretty bleak for any wintry weather over the next week or so. One thing we also have to look, need to have a look at is the NAO and AO. This just re-emphasises my point that the atmosphere is still primed potentially for colder weather. Now, if you don't know what the NAO or AO is, I have explained it in previous videos, especially in my winter look ahead, so do check those out. Um, but just a brief overview is that they're in a index that shows the relationship between high and low pressures in the North Atlantic, and in the minute we'll have a look at the Arctic one, the AO, uh, in the Arctic as well. And generally, positive will mean for the UK in general, more milder westerly conditions, negative, more blocked and more amplified jet stream sort of conditions. And you can see the NO, NAO is a bit up and down at the moment. It's positive at the moment, but as it heads towards the new year, it turns more negative. But that high pressure is building over the UK, not exactly in the North Atlantic. So it's why it can be a little bit misleading sometimes, because it doesn't guarantee cold. It just means higher chances. So that NAO goes negative with high pressure building in, but it builds towards the UK. It actually brings milder conditions, but still an amplified jet stream. So that's why it's still showing negative. But that continues. It goes briefly positive before a little bit further negative throughout the bit of January. And again, all depends on the on ensemble members um, what they're showing we'd ideally want this to go pretty negative if we want to see much colder conditions because at the moment it is that jet stream in the atlantic with those low pressure systems which is holding the block and that cold weather to our north at bay because if we do have a look at the ao you can see it is really quite negative with a lot of blocking around over the northern hemisphere you can see by that gfs run that that blocking doesn't really go anywhere over the next few weeks just doesn't quite influence our weather as much over the next week before potentially returning stronger once again into January. So we really do need the NAO to trend more negative, see more blocking in the Atlantic. We don't have to see it. If we did get the right orientation of the lows, we could still bring in much colder weather and potentially snowier weather with undercuts of low pressure systems. But at this stage, it's still really is all up in the air. The AO is very blocked. So that's why I said the atmosphere is still primed potentially for cold weather over the next few weeks and the next month or so. So we do now have a look at the GM covering the midnight run as it has fully come out. Um, that yeah, the 12 set hasn't fully come out yet. And again, we'll see the blocking developing. You can see how we do generally go really quite mild over the next week or so with much milder southwesterly winds, potentially low pressure moving through at times. And then right towards the end of the run, we actually go into quite a cold northerly wind as we still have a bit of blocking. Really quite chilly there. And towards day 10, we stay in this colder weather. And you can see we're actually starting to build higher pressure towards our north and it does look like it could be transitioning to a scandinavian high which would pull in basically cold easterly winds with a big cold pool as you see just to our east so we'll have to see how that does play out but once again gm highlighting for our early parts of january that blocking signal is still there the cold potential is still there no guarantees at this stage but the potential as i keep repeating is still there so i just don't want people to um think that we're just going to be staying mild um the cold may um and has a decent chance of coming in january now if we have a look at the eastern blue air which goes very mild i must say so that's why it is of course just the potential and we do run through you can see generally southwesterly winds and right towards the end of the run we do see really westerly 
traditional westerly pests from the west conditions with big lobe of tropospheric polar vortex in the north atlantic with just yeah mild westerly winds now of course there are colder sectors within that but coming in off the north atlantic higher dew points uh, and it'll mean not particularly cold conditions so you can see, yeah, not showing anything too great. But if we do have a look at the Northern Hemisphere view, you can see there is substantial blocking the other side of the pole. So Eastern Rift is still going for blocking um, at day 10 through the early part of January, but just not quite in positions that would give anything cold for the UK. It would give cold to the other side of the North Pole, potentially towards parts of Asia and North America as well, and sort of the Northern, Northern Pacific area. So... Even though the Eastern AF isn't going cold for the UK, it's still showing that general pattern of blocking returning. And that's just something we need to keep monitoring, because I know a lot of people do want some wintry weather. Disappointed we haven't seen anything too substantial over Christmas. Um, and I just want to reaffirm that not all hope is lost. Now, if we do now have a look at the GFS ensembles, let's see what that shows over the next few weeks. You can see very mild to end December and for the first few days of 2022 around five degrees plus at 850 hpa good five to potentially 10 degrees above average however once we run to around the third to maybe the fifth of january we start to see so much colder on some runs now no guarantees at this stage of course um you can see the average is still actually a degree or two above the 1981 to 2010 mean but there's a lot of scatter, and you can see there are quite a few ensemble member runs going very cold, others going very mild. No major consensus at this stage, um, so that's why we have to always you know, keep an eye on this. There is a lot of uncertainty at play, but I do suspect over the next five days or so, as we head through this real mild period, we will start to see trends properly appear for the beginning of January, and we'll just have to see how the models decipher the potential for blocking to return. Um... If we don't look at sea level pressure, which gives us a good idea, generally not really showing anything um, substantial in terms of trends. From around the 1st, 2nd, 3rd of January, a lot of uncertainty. Some going really quite deep low pressure systems, other going higher pressure building in. So that just shows you the uncertainty really is there within the ensembles, and there are no definitive signals at this stage beyond sort of the first couple of days of January. So anyone saying January is going to be turning out to be a massive, mild, southwesterly sort of pattern is really um, just sort of just come up with a bit of a broad prediction they're not really got any massive basis some long-term climate drivers are of course going for that for example the stratospheric polar vortex is pretty strong um so that would favor westy winds but at the same time we have other climate drivers um like the mgo the enso regions with la nina potentially shifting things a little bit colder and of course with the easterly qbo as well which generally makes things uh, or gives a higher chance of seeing cold weather. So we still have a lot of climate dramas going in the way of cold weather, even though sometimes some people say, oh, the polar vortex is very strong, therefore we're guaranteed westerly conditions. You can see that there is no definitive signal at this stage. So we'll have to keep an eye really on what happens with this. So we do finish up, have a look at the UK Met Office run, have a look at the next five days or so at the precipitation and temperature. As you'll see, it's pretty unsettled and pretty mild as well so as we run through you see earlier this morning we saw some heavy snow potentially over parts of northern um england now of course this the prediction it probably would have played out a little bit differently to this but still quite a bit of heavy snow around and that heavy rain moving through over the course of this evening and tonight things being pretty cloudy miserable and rainy in scotland still with a few showers around and then another heavier band of rain moves through tomorrow morning sort of petering out into the afternoon and more continued bands of rain moving into the south maybe turning a little bit brighter in the north but still a lot of cloud heavier rain round on tuesday and then once again another batch of rain through wednesday especially in the south and then a very heavy active front moving through wednesday through wednesday evening a bit of snow maybe over the northern hills and then into thursday still heavy rain in the south so it's looking very very unsettled through the, throughout this week continuing bands of rain I do suspect we could be seeing some yellow rain warnings for a time where we do see these weather fronts line up and where we see the heaviest bands 
so do stay tuned for that so if we do have a look at the max temperatures over the next five days you can see generally still quite cold in the north but it is trending milder and as you can see by this afternoon it was sort of eight nine ten degrees in the south further north it's still low single digits but that's all going to be changing for the 27th because in the afternoon Low single digits still maybe across Scotland and a few areas in northern England, but generally areas up, up to around 6, 7, 8, 9, or even 10 plus degrees in the far southwest. Now continue for Tuesday the 28th, widely 5 to 10 degrees across many parts of England, Wales, Ireland, Northern Ireland, still chilly across Scotland as we're hanging on to some cold air there. But by Wednesday, really mild conditions coming in. Maybe still freezing over the Scottish Highlands, but many parts of England, Wales, Ireland are looking around 14 or 15 degree high it's widely though 11 to 13. overnight staying up in the low teens maybe 12 13 degrees overnight and by thursday the 30th of december widely across england and wales 13 to 15 degrees which is spring-like conditions or, or even autumnal conditions really really quite mild and that as we head through to friday the 31st so new year's eve it is looking still really quite mild around 12 or 13 degrees so real mild conditions coming up over the next week or so but again as i said there is the potential for things turning colder once again in the new year and we'll have to see how it does play out so anyway thanks for watching hope you have a great uh, rest of the festive period and i'll see you again for another video soon